Hello YouTube, my name is Paul and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server. So there's a few things you need. First off, you need to open up a Windows, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox, whatever you prefer. And you need to download the Minecraft clients. So what you do is go to Minecraft.net, log in, and then proceed to download. So we're going to go to download. My, my Minecraft multiplayer server. So download this, and if you have Chrome, it just comes down here. Show in folder. I have a second screen, so this could get a little noxious. And I'll minimize this, bring that over, and we'll bring the Minecraft server to the desktop. Next, what you want to do is make a folder. So you can exit out of your Minecraft, right click on your desktop, new folder. We'll name this MC server test. Drag the Minecraft server into the folder. Next, double click the folder. When you're in the folder, you want to double click again or click and enter onto the Minecraft server. Always ask me before opening, you can uncheck mark this and click run. You'll notice that a server prompt will come up like this one. It'll spawn you a world as well as make you files in the background. So let's go ahead and have this download. The next thing you need to do, you can either exit out or click stop, doesn't matter which one. Anyways, that one's like lagged. So what we're going to do now is we have to change, there we go, it closed. We have to change the basic properties. First though, what you want to do is go ahead and go to your start menu, type in CMD, enter. That will bring you up to your black window command prompt. For this you are trying to find your IP address. So go to IP, config, enter. Now you scroll all the way up and as you will see here, this is your IP address, your default gateway. You want to memorize your default gateway and your IPv4 address. Next what you want to do is go back to your Internet Explorer and type in what you see in the default gateway. Mine is 192.168.9.1. When you enter this, your auth authentic can whatever, you know, you can read it yourself. The command prompt will come open and you will have to type in your internet password and your username. If you do not know this, there is a basic list that I will include on the description box as well as you can contact your internet provider. Mine is admin. Normally it's admin as the password but I have changed mine. So I'm going to save my password. Next you want to go to applications and gaming. As you can see, I've already set mine up, so I will go ahead and delete everything so we can go through this all together once again. So yours should look something like this, although these will be zeros. To find out the external and internal port, what you want to do is go to your Minecraft server properties file. Double click this. If it asks you what you want to open it with, choose notepad or microsoft word but make sure that you don't add any spaces or push enter because you do not want any blank messages in there next you want to look for where it says server ip or no right here server port 25565 that's all you need for right now so we're going to exit out Go back into the single port forwarding, as you can see, and type in 25565. That's the internal, and you also want information to go out, so you do 25565. Make sure the protocol is set on both. And then for this, you want to enable, name it MC Server. I'm going to name mine P because my brother has one as well. And then to IP address, what you want to do is go back into your black box by going into CMD IP config and find where it says IPv4 address 192.168.9.106 
So what I'm going to do here is type in 106. Do not worry if your server ever crashes you can just come back in and change your IP address. Sometimes when adding new internet devices to your internet it can change your IP address. Now what you want to do is click save settings. Once your settings are saved you are almost done. Go back to your Minecraft server test and what you want to do is go into your server properties. From your server properties, all you have to do is look at everything you want. The usual one is fly is true, level, level name, you name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name that. I'm going to change my false to true, make sure no spaces. Level seed, I have none. PvP true, change to false. Maximum players, 14. Spawn monsters, usually true. In my case, I'm going to go false. Generate structures, true. View distance, 10. You want to go to file, save, close. After you have done everything, you are ready to go. Start up your Minecraft server, and as you see, there will be no errors, and it will be spawning a new world called Awesome Fish. At this time, you can go ahead and open up your Minecraft log in and you can see this is done so what we're going to do is go to multiplayer we will have to delete this add server awesome fish server 192.168.9.1 Server address is the address that you entered in onto your IP configuration online. Oh, because I minimized, I guess I have to do it again. I'll just forget this for now and do, oh, type player, direct contact, 192.168.9.106, enter. As you can see, I'm now logged on, everything is working. This is my server. If I want, I can push T or type whatever I want in. Command shows me who's online. I can say commands. I can. Oh, wait. Make sure once you build the server, this is pretty much essential. You want to go ahead and op yourself. That way you can have control. And now, as you can see, when I go in, 192.168.9.106, when I go in, I can now control the server. That is all you need to know for basic server making, commanding, and um, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a good day.